My name is John Hoke. I am the Digital Studio Supervisor at Cook Memorial Library. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to create digital files from your photos, negatives, and slides using our Epson V600 scanner. Okay, first I'm going to start with a photo. Our scanner is a flatbed scanner, much like most scanners that you would use to scan documents. You put your picture face down on the scanner in the upper right hand corner. There is an arrow on the scanner that points you to the right place. Once you get the picture in place, close the top and then the start button on the front of the scanner, you need to push that. Now the program takes around 10 to 12 seconds to open up, so don't panic, it is working. You will notice that the cursor on the screen will turn into a spinning volleyball or beach ball, however you want to describe it. And then you'll know the program is kicking in. Okay, the first box you see, it says Epson Scan. At the top is the Mode List box. It defaults to Full Auto Mode. That you need to change to the Home Mode, which is good for photos and negatives and slides. The next window, the Epson Scan window, shows the document type, defaults to Photograph, which is what we have, so we don't need to change that. The image type is Color. You have the option of color, grayscale, or black and white. Uh, I recommend that you use either the color or the grayscale mode. Uh, you don't need to worry about black and white. Now they, they give you a destination and it defaults to a printer. Uh, you don't need to worry about that because you're going to set your destination uh, right before you scan. Um, it, it defaults to 300 dpi, which is uh, relatively high resolution. And then in the image adjustments, unless your image is really uh, destroyed or in bad shape, you really probably won't need any of those. And then we go down to preview and we click on preview. It scans the picture real quick to give you a preview of the picture in the preview window. All right, move the window over here. Now you can click on this button here to make the image larger so that you can see if it's definitely an image that you want or if you need to turn it in any way. But in this setting, you cannot scan. You will have to go back to the smaller thumbnail. Okay, and once you have that, then we go down to the scan button, which is back over in the smaller window. Click on scan. When you hit the scan button, the file savings setting windows opens up. This is where you determine where you're going to save your, your image, your file, um, what you're going to name your file, um, and the image format that you're going to save it as. We have it set to default to our pictures folder here on our computer. It will not stay there, that's only temporary. You need to bring either a flash drive or a DVD to burn the image files to once you have all of them loaded into our computer because when we restart the computer it that is all erased. So make sure you bring a device to save your files to. And then once you deter once you have set all of that up you click on OK and it will scan. Now I have it set for pictures, so I will show you where that folder is, or it'll pop open right in the pictures folder. All right, and as you can see, there is our image. Once you're finished scanning your pictures, please remove them from the scanner and take them home with you. Okay, now, I'm going to demonstrate how to use the scanner to digitize your negative film. The Epson scanner comes with this negative and slide holder. 
when using it for negatives, you need to first take this piece out. That holds the negatives in place. You take your negatives. Now you look at the top of your negatives and it will tell you the type of film it is. You want to place the side where you can read the name of the film correctly down. So when you put it in the holder, the word should appear backwards to you. You slide it to the, what I'll call the top of the holder, okay, in the two channels. And then once you've done that, you want to place this back into the holder and then snap down. You'll see about nine places where the, this snaps together. You got to be kind of careful when you're doing it. You're going you're to want to lay it flat on the counter here to do this. And then once you have it snapped in, it should look something like this. Before you start scanning your negatives, it is important that you take out the document mat, which is in the top part of the scanner. It just slides out just like this, okay? And then you just lay it to the side because you don't need it. Now, this holder has a tab here. It's marked A, letter A. And also you can see here it has an A which corresponds with that. On the side of the scanner, on the left side, you will see also uh, some tab holders, okay, lettered A, B, and C. You just make sure you put the A tab in that A holder, and then again, carefully lower the top, and then hit the green start button again. And again, it takes about 10, 12 seconds for the program to start up. And there's our program. All right. Now, again, we want to make sure in the mode list window that it says home mode. Okay. Now, under document type, we are going to bring up our list of document types and click on color negative film because that's what we have in here. All right. And then pretty much all the other settings stay the same. Click on preview. And now it will preview the files. for you and you will notice that each frame is its own file. It's not going to give you four file like on a strip of negatives. It's not going to give you four in a row. It's each frame is its own file. And now that they're up, here they are. Now we have eight files here and you will Notice that they are all numbered one through eight, so that when you scan them, they, they will be numbered one through eight. Now, let's say you don't like all of these pictures and you don't want to use all of them. That's fine. All you have to do is click on the check mark next to the number, and that picture will not scan. So I'll take out a bunch here. All right, so now I've left four with check marks, those will be the only four that will be scanned. So we click on our scan button. Your file save, save settings window opens up. And again, you choose your location where you want it to save to. You can name your image, whatever you want. You'll notice that the start number is 001. And again, it will be, it defaults to JPEG file. Then we like all that, we click OK, and now we scan. Scanning, of course, takes longer than the preview just because the previews were not actually saved to the computer. The scans will be. So it takes a little bit longer. OK, so now. 
over here in our pictures window, because again, our destination for our, or our location for where we're gonna save our files was the picture folder. Okay, I'm now gonna open up a file just to show you how big it is. Those are pretty big files. And you notice this one's upside down. So if you wanna see it right side up, up at the top here in the right corner, there is the rotate button. You just need to hit that a couple times and now we can see our picture the way it was photographed. Okay, when you're done and all your pictures are scanned, again, just grab our holder here and pop it out carefully. Don't want to scratch your negatives. And then take your negatives out and you have now digitized your negatives. Okay, now I'm going to demonstrate how to scan slides. Now, first thing, just like the negatives, you wanna make sure you take the document mat out of the scanner before you start scanning your slides. We use the same holder as we use for the negatives, but we're going to turn it around. You see it has the letter C here, which corresponds to the C tab here. Now, where you had to place the negatives in here and snap this holder on to hold them in place, the slides are actually not held by the holder. You're going to take your C tab and put it down on the spot marked on the left side of the scanner, just like you did the A tab for the negative film. All right. And then you're going to put your slides in. And again, you want to make sure you have the emulsion side of the film up when you place your slides down. Now, Kodak, when they printed their slides and it said ectochrome or Kodachrome, whatever it was, that's the side you want up. Okay, that's kind of a hint if you have those types of slides. If you have a plastic slide holder that says this side toward screen, that's the side you put down. All right, so I'll just put three in here for now. And again, the holder on the scanner is just a spacer for the slides. So you just place your slides down in those spots and then you drop the top down slowly and then you hit the start button again and all of the steps from here are exactly the same as when you did your negatives and pretty much when you did your photo too. So again, your Epson scan window opens up. You want to make sure you're in home mode. And then you want to change your document type from color negative film to positive film. Because slides are a positive image. Now these are color slides, so I leave that image type the same. The destination is still at 300 DPI, which is fine. Click on preview. Like the negatives, you will have separate files for each image that you put in here. I happen to have just put in three slides, so I should have three different files show up in the preview. And there they are. All right, so again, we look at them, we like them. I'm not worried that two of them are sideways because they are vertical shots and we can turn them once we scan them. So I'm going to hit scan. Our window comes up again. The destination, our save location is still into pictures. Um, we're not going to name it anything, it's still a JPEG, and then you just click OK again. And then you wait for it to scan. All right, so that is our demonstration of how to digitize your photos, negatives, and slides. So the next step for you is to book time here at the studio. Um, I do weekly workshops on doing this stuff if you feel like you'd like to come in for a hands-on demonstration. You can book time at the studio by going to our webpage and reserving time there.
And thank you for watching our video, and we hope to see you in the studio scanning soon.